Hi, it's Pamela. In celebration of Labor Day, we're going to create a short tribute to a labor leader in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. As we approach Labor Day in the United States, it's important for us to remember the contributions of those who fought against exploitation and pushed for a better life. One way to celebrate Labor Day is to share a doodly video profiling a labor leader. Now, you may already have someone in mind. If not, you'll need to do a little research. And here's a great place to do just that. It's the Department of Labor's Hall of Honor inductees. And you'll see there's all kinds of labor leaders here to choose from. I'm going to choose Cesar Chavez. I remember boycotting grapes as a child because of one of his initiatives. So that's who I'm going to pick. Now you'll see, these are just blurbs here, so if you plan on doing a lengthy profile, you'll need to do some further research and write your script. Today, however, I just want to create something using one of his quotes. And this one right here is just lovely, so I'm going to copy and paste it. And we'll use that in our video. Next, we're going to need a photo that's in the public domain. Now, government materials are generally in the public domain, so we could possibly use this one. You always want to be careful using someone's artwork or their likeness without appropriate permissions. So search public domain and creative common sites or use a paid site like Getty Images. You'll see I already did find a image that I liked. I got it over here on public domain clip art. So pdclipart.org. And these are some other places that you can go to to find some graphics that are in the public domain. While I like this image, it's a little bit small, and I think I could put the quote right in this area and it would look nice, but I also think, you know, maybe a little background image would also look nice. So earlier, I found an image over here on Smithsonian Open Access that I think will work well for this. The image that I found on Smithsonian was called Strawberry Harvest. So here it is. I had already uploaded it yesterday. Even though it's from like the 1800s when this was <laughs> created and published, I think it's really appropriate for my theme here with our farm workers. So I'm gonna use it and I'm going to first of all, go over here to my gear icon. I'm gonna turn the opacity down quite a bit because this is just gonna be a background image. I don't want it super prominent. So I'm gonna try it at 30%. And that's gonna be really nice. So let's make it larger. I like that. Problem is it's in front of my postage stamp image. So I can just click the appropriate button here and it just sends it back. And that's gonna look really good. Next, I want my quote. Remember I copied and pasted it. So I'm gonna to go to text. I'm gonna find a font that looks nice. I think we'll just go with this handwritten one here. I think it's bold enough to stand out. And double click to enter. And I'm just gonna paste in my quote. Now you see it is not quite right. I need to double click again, choose word wrap. And now I just need to fine tune it here. I could leave it black, but I kind of like this blue on the postage stamp. So maybe if we tied it in with the color. So again, go to your gear icon, go to your color tab, your color swatch, and let's find a blue. Just kind of drag around. I actually think that's going to be pretty good. Click apply. I'm not fond of the blue actually, so I'm gonna try a brown. It's gonna tie in a little bit better with the, the background image. I like that much better. I'm gonna go over here and delete this scene because I no longer need it. That was just for you guys. Right now, I have the background coming on at three seconds. And if you look at it, it scribbles on and I don't like that. So I'm gonna change that. And same with our postage stamp. And then woo, he comes on and he just writes the words really fast. So we do need to do some adjustments. 
First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start at the beginning, our background image. Three seconds for one is going to be too long for my taste, so I'm going to cut that in half. And then I'm going to go over here to the pencil icon, and I'm going to change it from draw to fade in this reveal mode section. Now it's just going to fade on, and that's nice. I'm going to do the same for my stamp. Three seconds is still long, but it might be okay. Click the pencil icon, fade, save. And then definitely we want to slow this down. So one and a half seconds is the default for text. It's, as you noticed in the preview, it was way too fast. So this time we're going to increase the length of time. Let's try six seconds. Always at the end, we need to add some extra time at the end because half a second to read all that is not going to cut it. And since this is our whole video, we're going to add, let's say seven seconds. And that puts us right at 17 seconds for the entire thing. So let's just take a quick look at the timing now. Fades on, fades on. I, I think it's still a little too fast with the handwriting and I don't, don't really want him erasing a big rectangle there. So start, let's start with that erasing. Let's go over to settings erase mode. So right now it's in smart mode where it automatically erases the image before it draws it in. I'm turning that off. And then next, let's go back to this and let's make it even longer. Let's try nine and a half seconds. And that's better on the um, drawing of the words. I'm gonna slow down the fade in just a little bit. Now let's add some music. Earlier I had listened and I selected uh, Forgotten. I think that'll be okay for this. So I'm just gonna drag it into my music track. And you'll see it's way, way longer than my little clip here. So I'm gonna first of all shorten that, move that down. So you can trim the ends just with your mouse, hovering it over till it turns into a double arrow and then just trim. Now, sometimes, and then what I would do is trim all the way to tell my video. But sometimes I like the ending of the music better than the beginning. So in this case, I'm gonna keep this ending and still trim that a little and get rid of the beginning. So in this case, I'm going to go over here and drag it. And I just want the last 17 seconds of this song. And it's a little tedious to do this. It only takes, a, you know, a few swipes over. But it gives you another option on how to deal with the music. Okay, so now I'm going to line this up so it ends with the ending of my video. And then I just go over here. At the very beginning, it's gonna come on blaring. And I don't want that, I want it to fade in. So if you right click, choose fade in, you get this nice triangle and it's gonna fade in over about a second, just about a second long fade. I want it to be about a four second long fade in. I am gonna turn the music down just a bit. I'm not doing a voiceover, so I don't need to turn it down as low as I oftentimes do, but I'm still gonna turn it down. And we should be done, let's take a look. And that's the basics of how you can create a quick tribute to a labor leader this Labor Day. Thanks for watching. Bye.